Phrasal verbs for study. Look up. Do you know the difference between the word stranger and foreigner? I think a stranger is someone you don't know, and a foreigner is someone from another counter. I'm not sure. I'll look it up on Google. Let me know if I'm right. I'll look up the definition on Google. Search for information about something. When studying a new topic important to look up unfamiliar vocabulary. He didn't understand the historical reference, so he looked it up. They looked up the restaurant's location before heading out. Figure out. This math problem is so complicated. If you divide it into smaller parts, it'll be easier. That's a good idea. I think I can do it now. If you want to figure out a math problem, it's always better to make it simpler first. I can figure out the math problem. Understand or find a solution to a problem. She managed to figure out the complicated equation after several attempts. If you can't figure out the answer, try asking for help. Figuring out a solution requires patience and logical thing. Go over. I'm really nervous about the upcoming test. Have you prepared well for it? I've studied, but I think I need to go over my notes again. That's a good idea. The more you prepare, the better you'll do. I need to go over my notes before the test. Review or revise something. It's good practice to go over your work before submitting it. She decided to go over her presentation one last time before the meeting. Going over your mistakes helps you learn and improve. Brush up. I used to be good at French, but I've forgotten most of it. I'm sure it would come back fast if you studied a bit. I'm not so sure. I'm a little rusty. Just brush up on the grammar and some vocabulary and it shouldn't be a problem. You should brush up on your French. Improve existing skills or refresh one's knowledge. She decided to brush up on her coding skills before the job interview. He brushed up on his knowledge of world history before the quiz. Brushing up your skills can increase your confidence and performance. Catch on. I just can't seem to understand this new math concept. That's all right, these things can take time. Do you think extra practice problems would help? Definitely. With a bit more practice, you'll catch on. You'll catch on with more practice. Understand something, especially after a while or some effort. It took him a while to catch on to the new software. She was confused at first, but she quickly caught on. If you don't catch on at first, don't be afraid to ask questions. Drop out. Did you hear about Sam? No, what happened? He dropped out of the course. It was too challenging for him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe he'll try again later. He dropped out of the course. Quit or leave a competition, typically school or a course. He decided to drop out the race due to an injury. She dropped out of college to start her own business. Some people drop out of school but go on to become very successful. Hand in. I'm almost done with my essay. Great. Do you know what to do with it after you finish? I think I have to hand it in to you, right? That's right. Please leave it on my desk. Don't forget to hand in your essay. Submit work for review or consideration. She handed in her assignment before leaving class. He made sure to hand in his application early. Handing in your work on time shows responsibility and respect for deadlines. Put off. I have a big assignment due next week, but I just can't seem to get started. The sooner you start, the easier it will be. You're right. I'll start working on it today. I tend to procrastinate, but not this time. If you keep putting it off, you'll have a lot of pressure to finish. Don't put off your big assignment. Postpone or delay doing something. She decided not to put off studying for the test. 
he often puts off doing his homework until the last minute. Putting off important tasks can lead to unnecessary stress and poor performance. Quiz time! Find the correct verb to describe the situations. Pause the video for each question. Submitting an essay before the deadline. Turning in a project for evaluation. Giving your test paper to the instructor. Hand in. Reviewing lecture notes before an exam. Checking your work for mistakes. Rereading a chapter to understand it better. Go over. Delaying cleaning your room until the next day. Procrastinating on starting your assignment. Postponing a dentist appointment. Put off. Searching for the meaning of a new word. Finding information about a historical event. Locating a place on the map. Look up. Revising the basics of a foreign language. Practicing a musical instrument after a long break. Refreshing your memory about a topic. Brush up. Leaving a course because it's too challenging. Quitting a race due to an injury. Giving up on a project halfway through. Drop out. Solving a complex math problem. Understanding the instructions for a DIY project. Understanding why something happened. Figure out.